So there's a new thing in the town that is called PyScript, which allows you to run Python on the front end with alongside with JavaScript. So you can now run Python logic, you can now write code, things which generate Python based output inside your browser without actually having a server at the back end requiring to run the Python code and then getting the output. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. Now, how does this work? This works because of WebAssembly, obviously. Wasm allows you to compile a version of Python with a bunch of tools in the ecosystem and then use it directly in your browser. Now they say that PyScript is a very experimental project as of now. You can see if you go to the GitHub repo, they say that this project is extremely experimental, but let's just try to have some fun with it. So I'm gonna go to CodeDams Playground, obviously, just to try out a Python project. I'm gonna create a new playground and I'm gonna select HTML CSS as a template, obviously, because that is what we are working with in this. I'm gonna say this is a spy script and create a playground. Now, when I create a playground like this, once it boots up, it's gonna give me a place to write HTML CSS and JavaScript code. Awesome. Now, let's just go ahead and copy paste this these things which we have and let's just get rid of pretty much all the other things at the moment and uh, let me just go ahead and remove this and this as well and maybe just move the script tag a little down the line okay so once we have that what we can do is we can use these two tags, for example, PyScript that can be used to define Python code that is executable within the pages. The element itself is not rendered and all is only used to add logic. So we can use PyScript, which is actually the code which it shows in the demo as well. So if I copy paste this and wait for things to happen, you can see that we get now you can as the output. And if I go ahead and open this in a new tab, just to take a look at the DOM, you're gonna see that in fact this is a python executed code right you can see that we got now you can we could probably also perform arithmetic like you know raising 2 to the power of 10 which should potentially give us 1024 as the output and there you go we are getting the correct output another thing which we can do is we can go ahead and try out a few examples over here and take a look at let's say a REPL example. So if we copy paste the pi env stuff over here, number one, then if we copy paste, let's say this pi REPL thing, which is my REPL and auto generate true, you're gonna see that it should start rendering something interesting. You can see this REPL area over here, which is automatically generated. It's good. So now I can write print one, for example, and shift enter, and you see it's working, it's executing actual Python code. I can say print two plus two. I can write a function in Python, print hello world, world, and I can just say print hello world. And then maybe in another cell, I can write this function call. And that's all the Python I probably know <laughs> at this point. So that's all you're gonna get. But yeah, this is pretty cool, right? You don't need anything apart from your browser to truly run Python natively. Again, this is an emulated version at the end of the day. So the drawback is that you will not be able to run something like import os.getenv. I'm not sure, like probably this works, probably this does not work. But yeah, I mean, depending on whatever it is, this is not a true replacement still, because obviously the native binding, the networking stack, all of that is missing. And all of that, even if they enable it somehow, that will be a emulated or simulated or patched version, not the original one. So that's cool for basic projects and, you know, just ba doing basic stuff. But anything which requires serious, serious code, you still need a playground based setting or a setting where actual Python code can evaluate. And if you're trying to do that, you're in luck because you can create a Python playground on CodeDAM as well. This Python playground is an actual real Python playground, which allows you to run Python in the CLI and you know just execute the real code so you can have python3 script dot python3 script dot py and this is the actual python right like the real original python available to you so anyway that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you liked it 
if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of codedamps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching